Cyclops got a message for you. Tell your boss he can stick it. Right at the start of Assassin's Creed Odyssey, you'll get a rude awakening from a couple of thugs who waste no time trying to stab you to death. And once you've defeated them, you have a choice to make. Kill them then and there, or send them packing. Fun's over. It's one of many decisions you'll make throughout Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and like those other choices, the consequences aren't always obvious at first. The thugs are lackeys of the Cyclops, a local loan shark and bully who terrorizes the little island of Cephalonia, which means it's just business. Playing as Alexios, I decided to be merciful and show them the proverbial door. Playing as Cassandra, I was much less merciful. They were the ones asking for trouble, and they could have potentially hurt my girl Phoebe, who immediately felt like my sassy little sister the moment I met her. So I decided to end their lives on the spot. You have a lesson to learn. In this case, running them through might not have been a bad call. Show them mercy like I did, and you'll be rewarded with an ambush shortly after you leave home for the first time. They'll bring a few friends, which means a tougher fight, but more XP and loot when you take them down. However you handle the thugs, you'll soon meet up with your business partner Marcos, who wants you to help him pay off the Cyclops by stealing from the Cyclops. The one-eyed brute treasures a priceless obsidian eye, and your job is to sneak in and take it. I opted to approach the Cyclops' villa with pure stealth, slipping in and out without so much as putting a single guard in a sleeper hold. And I got away scot-free. My Cassandra isn't really the sneaking type. And by that I mean I tried to sneak in and got caught and had to fight my way out. That made Marcos a little less than thrilled with my return as some of the Cyclops' men had attacked his winery. What did I say about being seen? Some of our decisions didn't center on sneaking or stabbing. One of the early side missions tasks you with investigating a cave where statues of the gods demand offerings from villagers and give nothing in return. Someone dropped offerings here. A quick investigation reveals a cave used by bandits to take advantage of the faithful. Once the swindlers are dead, you could leave the cave through a convenient back passage, but by retracing your steps to the entrance, you might discover something you otherwise would have missed. All I can offer you is devotion, but I need your help. While I was tempted to play the role of Hermes and tell this woman what she wanted to hear, I didn't want her to believe that all her problems could be solved so easily. Plus, I really enjoyed the awkward silences. Meanwhile, I perpetuated the fraud, but with better intentions than the bandits. Your prayer is... heard! After the woman left, I tracked down her hovel and left her a little reward in the form of reclaimed property. It was a small gesture, but one that netted me some bonus XP. Sometimes you have to wait a while for the consequences of your actions to really manifest. At one point, Phoebe asks you to check up on a playmate whose village is under strict quarantine. The kind so strict that most of it has been burned to the ground, and many of the residents have been put to the sword. He won't let us go. Here, you'll be forced to choose between the lesser of two evils. Do you save the family and risk the spread of plague? Or do you let the soldiers kill sick and innocent civilians? In this case, neither one of us had the heart to let some overzealous soldiers kill a family. So we rushed to their defense, fighting off soldiers and freeing the captives. Let them go. What? We're well enough to travel, but need healing. Ugh, okay, that might have not been the smartest call, but they'll, they'll probably be fine, right? Spoiler alert, several hours and a couple of story arcs later, we find out that our decision had severe consequences for Kefalonia. There doesn't seem to be a cure. Many have died. Malaka, that priest was right. Oops. We did all of this in our first couple of hours with Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and it began a journey that took us to new lands, new adventures, and a lot of new choices. And you'll be able to make those choices for yourself starting October 5th, when Assassin's Creed Odyssey launches on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. For more on Assassin's Creed, be sure to subscribe to this channel and visit us at news.ubisoft.com. Assassin's Creed Odyssey. 
Available October 5th.